For all the excitement of the morning's chase, Susan and Jeff are not done until they take a buffalo bull. And so it's back on the deadly tracks in the Tanzanian bush. It's very fresh. Buffalo hunting in this area um, can be extremely challenging. It's thick, thick cover. Uh, these old bulls, have, a lot of them broken away from the herd and, and we're hunting these Daga boys. Uh, and usually it's one or two or three, possibly more. They're used to being pushed around by a lion and uh, they'll charge at a drop of a hat. Uh, if something gets in too close to them, you can be better be ready because they're going to come at you. Just kind of be ready. If we see a bull and we get a chance, we'll put the sticks up and get them out. Just kind of be ready. If we see a bull and we get a chance, we'll put the sticks up and get them out. The Cape Buffalo in this area haven't got a lot of human pressure, hunting pressure, uh, as you can tell by their reactions. Typically when a buffalo is threatened in a hunting situation with a human, he'll run for the thickest cover and hide and just keep on moving. When it's a lion situation, which is what they're typically used to, they'll come out into the open and they'll keep watching you. Know, they'll let you approach very closely because they're not worried about the lion they can see, they're worried about the lion that they can't see. Just watching us now. We're just gonna kind of walk towards him and see if a big bull comes out or something. The Cape Buffalo can lull the hunter into drawing close before gathering itself for a charge without warning. And a buffalo charge is always all out. My fear, I guess, let's call it fear of, of hunting buffalo is um, I have a really dear friend that was, was badly, badly injured hunting buffalo. So I, I, I'm, I'm a little apprehensive going out after them and again, the way they look at you, there's, especially hunting out of a herd, they're, they're so aware, there are so many eyes looking at you and you feel so vulnerable that, um, very fearful, very fearful. Massive and powerful. A buffalo can crush with its boss while its horn tips can leave multiple more devastating wounds than the fangs of a big cat. I thought I saw a bull earlier. they ran so we crept from one cluster of trees or bushes to another and got closer and closer I kept seeing the look on the trackers faces as we got within really just a few yards of them so I didn't know just how scared I should be but judging from their faces they were pretty scared <laughs> sun had already started to go down and these buffalo would stand in the open and watch us as they would with a lion and that'll give you an opportunity to pick out a big bull. You just got a short period of time with the light, you got to make a great shot and hope for a one shot kill. Jeff's just amazing, he just walked right up to them. He was hoping 
for a big bull to kind of come up and basically challenge him to see what he was. And then we would have a, a shot. As he put it, we would have about five minutes of daylight left. And the shot better be good. There's a cow just watching. Often what happens with these big bulls when they're in a herd is they feel the threat or sense the threat and they'll move into the center and the cows with the calves stand on the outside and they're, they're vigilant, they're watching. It's not a big bull there. The big bulls just don't appear, you just don't get a chance and that happened to us a couple of times. That worked pretty good, we got to see them all. But not a big bull there. The Tanzanian bush has brought Susan and Jeff two close encounters with Cape Buffalo. Now they are hoping to connect while being deadly aware of the danger. Go ahead and give me those bullets. Give me uh, the solids first. We're going to put uh, two, solids. two solids down. Then we're going to go ahead and put this soft nose on top. So that'll be your first shot. Should do the most damage. Yeah. So I, the idea is that he's going to be either perfectly broadside or a good chest shot. Your first shot's going to be a good clean shot. And then after that, you want solids with the most penetration. So he's either going to be coming at you or he's going to be going away. So you want to get as much penetration as you can. Got it. Okay, All right, let's go. Ready? Yep. Shot placement is especially critical with a Cape Buffalo, which only becomes exponentially more dangerous when wounded. A first shot with a soft nose broadside into the heart and lungs is ideal. If head on, the shot should be in the chest under the chin. If charging, you aim between the eyes below the boss and hope. Yeah, let's track him. Okay, try, maybe we'll find something. I'm gonna try to figure out which is the fresh ones. These buffalo will have the advantage often in these cases because of the, the wind and the thick cover and they'll go downwind if they sense some trouble or danger and if the opportunity presents itself, you get a little bit too close, wounded or not, they're going to charge you. There's a cow just watching us, a cow just watching us. Let's just go back, slowly straight back. Buffalo have excellent hearing, so you have to be incredibly quiet. Also, when there's a herd of buffalo like there were today, there's so many eyes watching you. It's, it's not just the buffalo you're trying to find, and you've got to get in close enough to judge and, and make sure that that's the one you want, or make sure you're shooting a, a, a good old bull. And one mistake could cost you your life. Looked like a good hit. He jumped up, reared up, bucked off, and took off to the left. We uh, followed up. He started going downwind and into the setting sun, which gave him two advantages against us. And then he moved into the herd. I couldn't see which one it was. He ran again. We kept following, kept following, and ran, it, ran into the herd. So it got mixed with some others, so it got a little spooky at that point, and uh, we had to wait, be patient, be patient. So 
Because if we see a buffalo, it's probably him. So be ready. If you see him, shoot. We kept pushing him, pushing him. Eventually, he started to fall back. We, we managed to get the herd further away. He couldn't keep up with them. It was extremely dangerous at that point because uh, he had the wind in his favor and the sun was in our eyes. So he knew we were behind him the whole time. Let's get up on him. Come, come, come. Get up next to me. You gotta get up next to me. Good job. You hit him good when he was that long shot. He gave us a good shot. He broke off by himself. Good broadside shot, and that was my my buffalo after nine years. Good job. Santa Santa. Thanks, Bunny. Santa Santa. Yeah. Thank Dusty. Good job. Thanks, Good, good, good eyes, eh? Good. Yeah. Yeah, thank you. Good, him, eh? good job, eh? <laughs> thank awesome. You. Good job. Getting back to Africa and hunting dangerous game, hunting buffalo, has been amazing. I find myself, um, I know I'm a little misty now, but I, I've been smiling so much here when I think about memories of my son. He just, he loved Africa so much and I'd forgotten how much I loved Africa. That was a good hunt. That was a great hunt. <laughs> hey. There's nothing like hunting buffalo. 